Today's tutorial is going to be, as you can see in the title, how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS. Now, if you, could, if you guys don't know what homebrew is, it's basically hacking for your 3DS, where you can get Game Boy Advance games for free, uh, get free games, and get a custom theme such as Undertale and Splatoon and such. So, right now I'm going to be using my sister's DS, sorry Brianna if this kills it, which it probably won't, but yeah. So here are the files you will need. Now this is the home page, smelium.github.io slash 3ds. I'll put all the links in the description. You want to go down and press homebrew starter kit. Once that's there, you could save it basically anywhere. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. There it is, starter. That was weird. Let's extract it to our desktop again. Alright, you can get rid of this now. The next thing you're going to want to get for this, at least, is sound hacks. You can find sound hacks up here or in the link below in the description by pressing sound hacks website. I already have it here. Then, depending on what kind of 3DS you have, my sister has a new 3DS, so you're going to have to press. You know what, this might be blocking, yeah. You want to press new 3DS if you have a new one or an old one or a 2DS. Choose your region, I live in the USA obviously. Download M4A. This is basically just a file that runs on your sound player that can hack and get you into homebrew. So yeah, I don't know why I moved both of those. But now that we have that done, we don't need to be on this page anymore. Now we need our version, so I'm going to go into my sister's DS. To do this, you're going to go into System Settings. Wait for it to load. And then you should see something in the top bottom right corner that says your version. My sister's version is 11.2.0-35U. You want to scroll down to Other App slash Robin payloads. She has a new 3DS. The first number or digit is 11, 2, 0, 35 U. And then you don't want to do Robin, you just want to do other app. Save as desktop again. All right, now this isn't gonna work. It, it'll just crash your DS, it won't hurt it. But you have to, and I say you have to rename this other app, or else it's not going to work. Alright, so now we just go to the 3DS. So I will see you guys when I can just get my webcam. Now you know what, I actually needed to do some computer stuff, so never mind. So, now in order to start, for the old 3DS, so you have to shut down your DS and take out the SD card. The new 3DS has a better feature. Go to data management. I don't know if you guys can see this, this is my first time doing this. I'm going to micro SD management, I'm going to enter my pin, okay, then you'll be greeted with this. Now keep this in mind, you have to stay on the same internet connection as your PC does. I actually don't have the setup yet, so one second. It'll connect to network, and then once it connects, you can then see that all the information is there. So on your computer, you're going to want to go to files, if I could drag this up, then you want to go, and then you want to go to network, because that's what it's on, then there should be your name. I didn't really set this up properly, so it made a name for me, 3DS-7921. Now in order to connect, it's going to ask you for a password. The password is on the top screen for username and password, so her username is user, and the password is 0337. Remember my credentials so I could use this later. We'll be connected. 
Stay in mind, you don't have to use this for a regular SD card. That'd just be ridiculous. So now we're in the SD card's files. For starter, you're going to want to go on starter, click another starter file, copy these two files, and then paste them in here. That will take a while. Give it a second. Let's see how fast it's going. Anyway, guys, so I think my upload schedule is going to go a lot more smoothly now that I finished my midterms and everything. They were really hard, but I got good grades on them. And I'm through them. So, yeah, that went really well. Okay, these are here. Now you want to drag sound hacks. Last but not least, other app.bin. Once you have all those, you could then, on your 3DS, go to press the close button and then press OK to restart your DS. Once that happens, you don't need your computer anymore. So my computer is just going to be up for the sake of it, because I don't care. And I might need it later. You, can get, you guys can get rid of this, because we won't need it anymore. I'm just going to recycle it. <clears throat> Alright. Now, I'm just going to keep this up so I can see. One second. Sorry about that, guys, but I am back. So, I left the screen because I'll need that later. So, you just click out of your system settings. Do, 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 do. Then you're going to want to go to your sound player. And I don't want to play Swap Doodle right now. Now that we're in sound settings, I haven't gone through this yet, so it's going to say preparing. You want to go to SD card. And then you're going to have a totally not suspicious file that says Heart Ned Will 2016, Authors Ned Nintendo 3DS Sound 2000. Now what I'm about to do might shock you guys, but it works. Press it does all this code and ta-da you are in the homebrew launcher and you have all these stuff if you take any screenshots in this and I'll show you guys all the features later but this is how just how to homebrew your 3ds and I guess I could show you guys how to get games or Game Boy Advance games too in later videos so yeah thank you guys for watching and right now I'm just going to set up some basic files so I can do it in later videos. So, let's set up the Game Boy Advance emulator by just clicking it. Now that's set up, press B. Game Manager. Alright. Scan for theme so we could set that up. And now everything is set up. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this works. So I'll see you guys later.